I salute your vision and what you stand for. And um, my colleague, Professor Dadu, and also the E for she, that's what they say. But I don't know whether it's being replicated in, on paper and in reality. But we greet you all the same. And thank you for coming here to uh, honor your mother, who we all loved so dearly. For me, Honorable Minister, I salute you, ma, and all the great women in this hall. Uh, I sat down, I know most people will be thinking that, oh, why is she not saying anything? Uh, I'm not a woman of a lot of words. I listen and I make sure I pick my words. But still, I'll get there. But for me, my contribution would be what are the lessons we've learned here today. For starters, I would like to salute um, Our Excellency um, Hajia Aisha Babangida. I know your mom will be proud. I'm someone who has watched on the sideline and just watched people go by. I celebrate a lot of greats in this hall today. And particularly, I would take out um, Hajia Aisha Ismail. Uh, Ismail. Yes. I remember how when I was just very young, we didn't have much to contribute, but we all see you, like people are watching us over here as well, and we begin to shape our lives. Miriam Bagida's life has impacted a lot of us. I had the opportunity of being the first lady of Lagos State, and I used to tell people, you can't be a successful first lady without going to Miriam Babangida's school, a school of thought, to be a good first lady. I watched your mom. I had the opportunity to meet her on occasion, very, very few. She was very close to my late mother-in-law, Mama Bibatu Mogaji. She was like her surrogate mother. I saw her cook for her, honor her, respected her, and I knew now they are up there celebrating, and I knew their love was mutual. I stayed on the sideline. I learned from Mama as well. Mama was tough, but you know, whatever I am today, Mama also influenced my life. She wasn't the mother-in-law most people would even desire, but I watched a very strong woman. Like the uh, mother here who spoke that... Uh, uh, we relegated. I want to tell her we just reserve the best for last. Uh, there's no way we can be here without grassroots, uh, grassroots women. The men in our society, do they want women to even be anywhere? What people don't understand about power is that it is not gender friendly that we say it's for this gender. It's always, you know, I think power resonates with men. So if you want a, to be in a place of power, you have to be a man without losing your femininity. So, and that's one of the things we have to take home with us. For me, I see a legacy that has come to life today. Whatever we do, people are watching. And I want to thank all the women who are here today because nowadays, this generation don't enjoy what we see in this hall. We don't enjoy support that we see. We've seen all of you. And um, I've met a lot of First Ladies in these few weeks. And I can tell you that what I see with them, their friendship lasts a lifetime. And that is really nice. But nowadays, we play a lot of cat and mouse. What this has done for my generation, seeing this to come to life, that whatever you do in life, Heaven is recording it. And then when you have a light, do not be afraid to put it on the table. And she has been a light to our generation. She placed herself up there. And today, 30 years after, we are celebrating her legacies. We are here to honor her. And I see a lot of people who loved her through and through. And I think you must be a very proud daughter today. And your mom will be proud Daddy too will be proud, and we see you, and I say, God bless you. And you've really been a true daughter, indeed. And we are proud of you.
And I believe that with all this submission today, uh, I don't see any reason why our honorable minister will not do the needful to ensure that this bill is ascended into law and the name change becomes effective. I want to use this opportunity to also salute our um, Minister for Women Affairs. I see her too on the sideline promoting women ideas, promoting other women. I remember Uju Barista Kennedy during the election time. She was just going about that she has to do this. And from your queue, I support her as well. She's learning and, you know, she's a sister. And my message to all the women out there, cover each other's nakedness. That is the way we are going to stand as women, and that is the way we are going to move this country forward. Me, I'm a silent mobilizer. I, you know, work silently, and I believe that at the end, posterity will be kind to whatever we all do. I thank you all for coming out today. i trying to cut down on protocol. Thank you very much for coming to celebrate a great woman of our time. Thank you. Thank you very much.